Hey up guys, welcome back to the channel, watching Pit Motor in TV, another video here this week for you. What we're going to be looking at this week, hot hatches, small little cars, normally ideal for first time drivers, such as the Corsa, Polo, Skoda Fabia, Ford Fiesta, just the normal little bog standard little town cars that you see, little hatchbacks, but these pack a serious punch, such as the Ford Ford Fiesta ST, the Renault Clio RS, and this one that we've got here today, the Vauxhall Corsa VXR. It's powered by a 1.6 litre turbocharged four cylinder 16 valve engine, produces 197 brake horse, gives it a right nice little punch, especially in a little car. Now, over the standard Corsa, you can tell there's a massive difference in the way it looks with this front bumper and front splitter, little shark fin type grills down here. You get your VXR badge on the grill, just so you know it's that VXR model. Really stands out at the front there with the front bumper and it doesn't stop there either. With the upgraded 17 inch alloy wheels, the snowflake style that you find on the Astra VXRs and the Zavera VXR. This one's been fitted with some wind deflectors, just helps reduce that wind noise when you've got them down a little bit. You've got different mirrors over the standard Corsa and you've got these nice little additional touches around the indicator. I'll take you around the back in a minute and let you have a look around the back because that's where a massive difference is and it just looks uber sporty and mean. It's one thing this car is, is for, it just looks mean as it's coming down the road. It's, it's got a really good road presence. Now over the standard model, they are 12 millimetres on the front lower, 20 millimetres on the back. You get some bigger brakes on the front and the back. You've got 300mm discs on the front and 286 on the rear. The front and rear anti-roll bars have been made thicker, so they're a bit stiffer. Helps to add to that sporty, sporty drive. Helps it in the bends. Now, one thing where I wanted to talk about hot hatches today is because they're so fun and popular. Track days, just even just generally just out on a weekend, just a blast down a little country lane. They're so much fun and these days they're quite cheap i mean i just wanted to say thank you again to the guys at forge car sales at cloughton i've been doing a little bit of work with them guys lately i had their mix five the other week you can check out that video in the little pop-out banner up there um but yeah they've got this one in at the moment seventy-two thousand miles which i think for a 2012 is relatively low mileage it's got full service history um these have been known to be a little bit unreliable engine wise but I think that's when you start pushing the power a little bit. The internals don't really like it. Um, they seem to just be like a little toddler and throw the toys out the pram. Um, but obviously, like any car, you look after it, you service it regularly. It's, it's going to be good to and true to itself. Still doesn't mean it's not fun to drive. So let's go around the back and we'll take a look around the back. Around the back here, one thing that you'll probably notice first of all, over the standard Corsa is that rear bumper and the boot spoiler. Now the boot spoiler is really nice, you've got your brake light under there that shines up obviously when you're braking. Sticks out a little bit, which is nice, adds that sporty look. Rear bumper, it's got the rear splitter and a rear diffuser which is nice. You've got your shark fin type grills on the side, but it's all about that centre exhaust. Nice triangular tip, gives a really nice sound, really nice low end burble. Not too over loud, it doesn't drone when you're driving out on the road. I mean, I've done a few miles in it today and it's been relatively all right to li live with. But it just entices you more just to put your foot down that little bit, just to get that exhaust note. And obviously you hear the turbo spooling and then you hear the turbo dumping, obviously, when you get to us. But higher up the rev range, it's just so much fun. <laughs> Here's the VXR logo on the back, just to make you know it's obviously the sport of your model. You can tell that by looking at it. Uh, the previous owner looks like he's taken the Vauxhall Griffin logo off the back and the badge, which I think it looks better like that. Nice and clean. But yeah, let's take a look inside. Now for me, it's these seats. Really, really comfy. Recaro seats. Obviously stitched in the back of the seat there. You've got your red as well. Add into it, you've got the leather on the side, cloth in the middle. But they look really nice and they're really super comfy, really nice and supportive. 
there might be a bit of a squeeze if you're a bigger person, a bit like me, but I can still squeeze my fat ass in there. Uh, let's fold them forward, let's have a look in the back. Well, they are obviously the recliner, just to let passengers in the rear. Now in the rear, you've got the same again. You've got your half leather with your cloth trim down the middle. Really nice and clean in the back. Obviously leg space, that isn't going to be great. Uh, but I mean, just for a laugh, I'll get in. Yeah, it was a bit of a struggle there. But yeah, look, I'm in. Headroom wise, you've got really good headroom. Not too bad. Put the seat back though. And obviously, I think that's where your issue might be. I mean, I'll scoop, I'll scoop over this way and you can see down here. Leg room is going to be a bit of a problem, but for getting the kids in the back here, it's not too bad. I mean, spin you around. You've got your eyes to fix points just down here. So you can get a couple of car seat, children's car seats in here. You've got little storage bins back here. You've got your speakers in the door cards. Uh, visibility out the rear is really good. Uh, it's just a general course, really. I mean, is there anything else you want to know about it? You can always ask me a question and leave a comment below. I'll see if I can answer it for you. But yeah, let's get out of the car. I haven't been in the back of a car for a while, I can tell you that. But yeah, there we have it, that's the back of the car there. Let's get out on that road and see how it does. in the course of AXR generally at low speeds it's nice to drive the steering's nice and light it's one thing Vauxhall wanted to do obviously with the VXR so around towns low speeds parking wise they want the steering nice and light the only thing with that though I've found getting it up into the higher speeds and obviously when you're blasting down a B road you lose a bit of a sense of the weight in the wheel you don't get as much feeling you don't feel as connected on the road like you would say in a Fiesta ST or a Clio RS now the Clio that's renowned for its handling it, it's got a really nice weighted steering, steering feel it handles superbly I mean don't get me wrong this still handles really well but it's just not quite on par with the Fiesta and the Clio this though is quicker, the time from 50 to 70 between this and the Clio RS and this was half a second quicker. Now, it's like I said earlier in the video, it's 197 brake horsepower, 1.6 litre turbo. It's got 170 foot pound of torque, that'll get you to 0 to 60 in 7.6 seconds, which ain't half shabby for a, what's just a Corsair, adds to that bit of bit of fun it's not the best on fuel as you'd expect from a decent hot hatch and I'm sure you'd find it the same in the Clio and the and the Fiesta ST but I mean tooling around you can average around on a run you can average around 40 miles to the gallon 45 to the gallon maybe obviously give it some and you'll expect to see it drop and use quite a lot as you can hear with that noise it just entices you <laughs> it's like come play with me come play with me like a nice little bit of straight road and it's just begging you to to go faster begging you to have some fun with it begging you to play with it it's like one of your kids daddy daddy come and play jigsaw with me that's what this is like daddy wanna go faster I want to go faster, Daddy. Throw me round this bend. <laughs> well, 
Whereas with this, even with the stability on and the traction control on, you, you do find it squabbling for grip. Wheel spinning, torque steering, just adds to that little bit of extra fun, but it just, just shows you there is a little bit of a beast beneath. But it is that sound though. I mean, why, why buy one of these if you're not going to enjoy it? Obviously you get it up into the boost range, you get the dumping of the boost, you get that nice rumble from the exhaust. It's just really fun to drive. And even though it might drink a bit of fuel when you're driving it a little bit leery, <laughs> but it certainly is worth it for the smiles per gallon. <laughs> I can really tell you that. I'm going to go and have some fun down these B roads. So I'll catch you in a bit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you think of the Corsa VXR. What do you think about it? Do you like the way it looks? Do you like the sound? Uh, what do you think it has plus points over the Fiesta ST and the Clio RS? Maybe the Skoda Fabia VRS? But yeah, it is what it is. It's a nice fun little car, that's what it's made for. So, let me know in the comments below if you like this video and you want to see more. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, turn that notification bell on so you don't miss another video. So that's it for this week on Pit Motoring TV, your weekly pit stop for all things cars.